Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about uh, a few more commands in Linux that is echo and zip and unzip. So first of all, let me uh, open the Ubuntu. So I have opened the Ubuntu in Windows 10. Now uh, let us see the echo. So echo is used to print the uh, text on the screen or a file. First we'll see how to print the text on the screen. The syntax is echo followed by the text. So you can give the text, hello, welcome to Linux commands. If you press enter, automatically the text will be displayed on the screen itself. And if you want to place the same thing in file, use the same thing, echo, welcome to Linux commands. Use a double uh, greater than symbol and see f10.txt. So automatically, you can see f10 has been created. f10 has been created and if you observe, see cat f10.txt, the content will be saved here. Okay, so once again, go with this one. Let me show you. So I will change the this one, f11. You can observe there is no file with f11.txt. There is no file with f11.txt. I'm just executing this one. So if you go with the ls, now you can see f11.txt. So cat f11.txt, so you can find the same content. So one thing, with if you are not using any redirection symbols, so automatically the text will be printed on the screen. If you are using the redirection symbol, automatically the content will be saved into this particular file. And one more thing, in the shell scripting, we are going to use some variables, right? So for example, if you declare some variable a is equal to 100, and if you want to print the same, if you print echo a, automatically that same content will be displayed. But our intention is we want to display the value of a. So then you need to go with echo dollar a. So automatically the value will be printed. Okay, if you, you, if you prefix any variable with a dollar that will be treated as a variable and the content of that particular variable will be printed see echo a is equal to dollar e, sorry dollar a that means a is equal to will be printed in on the screen and here instead of a it will print the value see if you press enter automatically we'll get a is equal to 100 this is how we can use the echo echo means just to print the text on the screen or into the file that's it. And next one is zip. So let us see uh, ls. And you can you can see the files. So let us consider the f1, f2, f3 files. I just want to compress these files and to create a one one folder called a zip folder. So for that, just go with the zip function. Give the file name, the zip file name. So I will give f123 dot zip extension is zip. And give the files you want to extract, I mean, you want to compress f1.txt, f2.txt, and f3.txt. Now you can see if you go with the ls, you, here you can find f123.zip, right? Now, how to unzip this one? That means this zip folder will be consisting of three files f1.txt, f2.txt, and f3.txt. Now, see, uh, l cd sandeep. So here you can find uh, there are four files f1.txt, f2.txt, and f3.txt, and uh, we'll create one more one more uh, folder. So mkdir. So I will create f123. Now you can observe l3 is having the folder called f123. So cd f123 and ls. It's an empty empty directory. Empty directory. Now I will move this zip file. Right. Uh, to move the zip file mv f123.zip towards so slash f123. Now you can observe here cd f123 and ls. You can find the zip folder. Now, if you want to unzip this one, use the function called use, use command called unzip followed by f123.zip. See, extracting f1.txt, f2.txt, f3.txt. Now you can go with the ls 
So you can find the here f1.txt, f2.txt and f3.txt. So just find out this one f1.txt. So we are having the content here. So we can compress the folders. I mean we can compress the files and we can create a zip folder and we can extract the files from the zip folder by using the unzip command. So this is the use of zip and unzip. And if you want to know about any command in Linux, just go with the man, man command. So if you want to know about uh, zip function, use a man zip. So you'll get a manual. So how many ways we can use the zip. So this is a zip function. See, zip function, unzip function, the complete material, right? So the description, the uh, manual will be given. And if you want to come out from this manual, so go with the Q, so it will come back. And man, see, ping. This is one command. So if you enter, so how many ways we can use the ping, what is the use of this ping command, everything will be given here. So just press on Q, it will quit. So man command is used to get the information about the any commands in Linux, right? So simply you can self-study. It will be useful in a self-study, right? So hope you understood these three commands. That is a echo, zip, unzip, and man commands. So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to channel, our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.